just looking for the sports channel. Alrighty. Greetings, everybody. We had a monster Monday. Uh, it was a fun day at Weenie Trades Live. Lots of people joining in the live stream, talking, hanging out, making money. Uh, we made a lot of money swing trading, a lot of money, decent money day trading, and we also had a new mic, so it was a super fun day. So let's get into the trades. Our first trade of the day was on Disney, and Disney was gapping up really nicely. I wanted to go long over 140, but we were just pushing up extremely aggressively. The orders were a little bit lagged, but we were able to get filled just over 142.50. However, I got horrible option fills. The IV exploded, and I got the top wick fill. So really, I entered in at 142.44, but I probably got filled as high as 143. We got a nice push up, pull back. As we started to curl up, I went ahead and added to Disney over 142.88, looking for new highs. We got the new highs. We peeled off one contract right at 143.87. Got a quick pullback, was a little bit underwater because of the horrible fill. And we got this nice good push up. I took off more profits right in front of 144. And then on the last contract, we got uh, stopped out just underneath, uh, I think it was 143.44. So a small little revenue trade on Disney on the day trading side of things of $18 just because of the horrible fills. So Disney, we are still swing trading it. We're looking for the bigger move. We're targeting about the 160, 170 in the few uh, coming days or weeks. I think Disney's gearing up and getting ready for that next big move. Our next trade of the day was on Boeing and Boeing was, was in the game plan to go long if we can close hourly above 190. If we're gapping this far above 190, we're likely to hold. Boeing got this nice good quick wick down and it stopped me out of a few of my shares, but later it was on my radar to go long. I was able to catch this twitch right here on this wick at 194.12. And we just got this nice, good extended push up. I'm trailing up my stop, trailing up my stop. When it, Boeing went as high as like 197.50 at that point, And then our stop dragged out and this red candle got us. And that was for a nice, good revenue trade on Boeing. Just one little small baby contract for plus $74. So that was Boeing. And later in the day, we got this nice, good extended push up. And once we came into the $200 a share level with good volume and good liquidity, I went ahead and took profits on my in-out spread, which was on the Robinhood account. So nice, good green day. Um, was up about $850 at one point. Now it's looking to be about $600, $650. Definitely not complaining, but that is a, a big move from top to where we're at. So Boeing, nice, good move. I expect Boeing to continue over the next coming days, especially if the SPY can keep on going. Upwork was in the game plan this week to go long over 31. We'll look at this green candle today. That's why we're swinging it. It's such a good pattern. Rally, base for two days, rally. And today was the final day of the first day of the rally. I expect uh, Upwork to have continuation, but we were just holding our call. You could have gotten long over 30.65. You could have added over the old all-time highs, 31.30. You just got this nice good push up. And I went ahead and took my profits on Upwork once we came off the 33 level, right about there. So 32.80 on Upwork. And that was for a nice good revenue trade of $150. So... Upwork definitely paying the bills. We still have some small share size and we are swinging Starbucks and Disney with um, some medium term call spreads. So Starbucks, nice good pattern. I expect Starbucks to potentially make all time highs uh, by the end of the week, maybe next week. So Starbucks, nice good push up, similar to the Boeing trend, move up, pull back, curling and now breaking the highs. SPY, we are expecting to be slightly higher. Uh, we're slightly bullish on the SPY. It's coming off a little bit off its highs, so if it can get above today's high at this point, which is, I don't know, about 363, 362.50, then we should be able to pop the all-time highs. If not, we might see a little bit more consolidation, a zigzag, maybe a pullback down to like 358. As long as SPY is above 358, I think we're in a new bull market based off the max chart. So in investing heavily in shares and stuff, as long as we're above 358, that's the most recent pivot right about there. Otherwise, this is a breakout on the monthly chart for SPY. So new trading playlist coming. Since we got the new mic, we'll be creating a lot of different um, playlists, a bunch of videos, technical analysis, pattern recognition, money management, and all the tools you need to make money day trading or swing trading. So I'm super excited for those. Hopefully you are too. Alrighty. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.